Guys, I'm starting a new series, zero to seven figures in funding. Now I'm well away off from achieving that, which a lot of you might know. I've got a 25K account that I'm doing at the minute that I was documenting, but the goal of this, chat, this challenge is to document each day or whenever I have as regularly as I can, be live, honest, week upon week, documenting everything from zero to seven figures. It could take years, it could take six months. I don't know when I'm going to achieve it. I could have a lot of failure along the way. I could get a, I could pass a 25k or a 50k account relatively quickly. We don't know. I don't see anybody doing this. I don't see anybody trading day by day, showing everything. I could fail within day 14. I could fail and blow the account, my first 100k account or the 25k account. Like I said, I'm far, far away from achieving the seven figures. I need to first get the first lot of funding. Then I need to get the 100k funding, six figure funding and progress from there. But I would love to look back in a year's time and see the whole journey filmed live. I mean, if I fail, I'm failing in front of everybody. If I win, I win in front of everybody. But no one else is doing it. And I think it'd be so cool if and hopefully I will become successful in this challenge and by documenting everything. Imagine looking back at day one and then getting to say day 300 and then being like, you've got it. Or I'll try and do daily videos if there are opportunities, but if there's not, I'll put day two, three, four, all in one video. It's been a very quiet period in the markets for my style and the community that I'm in haven't took many trades either. So this is a time where you have to be patient, wait for the edge to play out, wait for opportunities and not take low probability setups. I did take one trade last week and I'll show you that now. Okay, guys, just entered a short on US dollar CAD. Been looking at this opportunity for a while. I'll break it down in, in a minute, but yeah, we'll see how this plays out. So, as you can see, guys, we're selling off nicely, rejected that area, the pivot broke down. Target is the 4 hour 50, so approaching that. Daily is looking nice. Um, if we get to 1%, which is where this line is, I move my stop to break even. Okay, guys, so we just hit 1%. We're running 1%. I move my stop to break even now. EDP whatsoever. However, that being said, when I went to the four hour time frame, I was looking at this and I said, okay, what am I expecting here? What 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 makes the most sense? Travis. So guys, we're pulling back. Stops obviously at break even. This is why I break even the trades because it's a pullback move. We're going against trend as you can see. Um, but yeah, if we get stopped out for break even, it's good management. Um, we might reject this level though. I might end up getting some bearish momentum, getting a bit of a wick, a, a high test. Then we could get the continuation to the downside. But yeah, be, because it's a pullback move going against trend, I like to manage these aggressively. Okay, guys, so we pulled back to break even, got tagged out for break even. That's why I have the management plan that I have. A lot of people out there who would do a challenge like this already have a backlog of six months of videos like made. So they already know the outcome. With this, it's completely uncertain. I could fail the account within a week. I could get the account in three months but i want to be documenting each day not only to hold myself accountable and not only for me to look back on it's sort of for me to look back on and think look look at the journey from day one day two up to say day 200 and i achieve it but i'm going to be getting another 100k account at some point probably towards the end of this week and i just want to document my whole journey that's what i've been doing on this channel this is what this channel was designed to set up for to be open honest transparent be authentic you can watch day by day and see the losses the wins the, the breakthroughs, everything. It also hold me accountable that I can watch and learn from my own videos because I can look back at the mistakes I make. I can look back at the wins that I have. So as of today, there isn't too much on watch. Tomorrow, there could be lots of opportunities. It's just being patient and waiting. The US dollar cab position for tomorrow could be nice. I've got to wait for this daily close. Again, we can quite clearly see we're overextended. Now we're just waiting for these lower time frames to shift, uh, break down. And then tomorrow is going to look like there could be a better opportunity. It's the same a euro US dollar. Again, look at that daily. So overextended. These are the type of pull back, pull back plays I like to go for. So we're just waiting for this one hour time frame to shift to change to bullish breakout. And then, yeah, we'll be looking for some kind of pullback. But that'll be more likely tomorrow. So that'll be on the cards. I also want to emphasize this is an extremely difficult challenge and it might be unachievable for a while. I'm not expecting this challenge to, to be achieved and be successful with it within a month, two months, three months. I'm still progressing as a trader. The first step is to get the first lot of funding, which is the 25K I've got. Like I said, I will be purchasing 100K funding with FTMO, probably a swing account because the type of style that I trade, I like to hold over weekends. So I'll be probably purchasing 100K and I'll be trading the 100K account and the 25K account. If I blow one of them, you've still got the other one to trade. Um, and yeah, be documenting the whole process. Okay guys, daily's closed. Look at that, bullish engulfing, lovely overextended runners I previously mentioned in the video. 
these are shifting broke out so if we get a pullback in the morning it's currently 12 o'clock if we get a pullback at 8 a.m london session we get a pullback rejection at the 0 0.382 fib we're going to be targeting the 4 hour 50 ma because it's an overextended run still bearish but we're playing a pullback move could be looking good for an entry so yeah i'll let you guys know if we take that so guys euro usd has gone off without us we didn't pull back far enough back to the 32 fib and the pivot so that one's gone without us Pound did have a setup, we pulled back, that we rejected the 1 hour 50, the pivot, and we ended up going up. Obviously, daily was looking nice. The issue with this is, with this 1 hour, I didn't like the price action as cleanly. But still, although we broke above the 1 hour 50, we still haven't, it's a bit more of a risky position because we haven't broke that high. So, yeah, that's moving nicely. Again, the analysis is correct, but we couldn't get an entry. So not much else has happened this week, guys. Uh, very slow in terms of entries, but this means there's a lot of development going into next week. So it's Friday evening. Um, again, not going to hold any trades over the weekend. There's nothing else really to film um, trading-wise. But yeah, I appreciate the support on the videos. I appreciate you like, commenting, and subscribing. It's a big series we're doing. Hope you guys get enjoyment of seeing me vlog it every day on most days. And yeah, just try and be open and honest and share my whole journey on YouTube. It'd be, I love this platform. I appreciate you guys' support on all the videos and on the channel. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. It would help the video grow and get out to more people. And we can show an honest, real journey of trying to get funding and especially achieve this massive goal. So yeah, I appreciate the support, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.